this is Meteor Facade, and I'm the thing that just popped up on your screen. Anyway, let's start a new game. Uh, why do I feel so lethargic? Story of my life right there. Are my eyes soon shut? It's pitch black. This line must have been stolen from that one Vin Diesel movie. I reach out only to be stopped by a wall. It seems that I'm in some sort of box. Dropping the surfaces. The smooth grain against my hand. Hand? Oh, I thought this was going to be a fan fiction. My bad. And the flexibility of the walls tells me that it is made of plywood. There's also a gap in front. Running out of space there. Am I in a wardrobe? <sighs> Guys, I guess it's about time that I come out of the closet now. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. I gotta get out. It's like Jin feels the same way. Let's come out together, Jin. Seems that I have two options here. Either kick at the opening or call out for help. I'm more of a call out for help guy myself. So, help? Hey, is anyone out there? It's kinda cramped in here. Oh, there's someone here? Thank goodness. That's right, thank goodness. Has he ever said a lousy, you're welcome to me? Never. It's locked. I can't open it. Just like that padlock diary my sister used to have as a child. All those secrets that I never got to read. There's some sort of device connected to it. Can you find something to break it? Actually, I think I saw something before. I'll go look. In front of me is a girl. She has soft facial features, auburn hair, and looks like she is in her late teens. Just gave her a Sherlock inspection right there. Do you know where we are? No, I just woke up a couple of minutes ago in the middle of this room. My name is Sunny, and you are? Leone. <laughs> I'm Jin, just an average college student who goes around introducing themselves as average college students. And the second option is even more stupid. Well, I fall into the even more stupid category, so y'all. Grammar man, your hero. The name is Jin, just like the alcoholic drink or that guy from Tekken. Uh, are you serious? No, I'm Jin. You silly. Ha ha. -a. It wasn't that funny, dude. Yes, for reals. With an expression like that, it doesn't seem to match your personality. Jin is just overanalyzing again. Maybe I should keep stirring. What? Grammar? 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 Where did you go? I can't find you. Anyway, how about getting out of here? Oh, I'm still in the closet. Right. I think that's a great idea. Why are you wearing a bow? You're not a Christmas present. Wannabe. There's only one door, but it's locked. It's over here. <sighs> I'm gay! Suck it, closet. Suck it! Not literally. You're not a hot dude. Wannabe. But you do have a deep dark hole. Shut up! It's a metal pipe. You must stop. Grandma. Use this to break that electronic look. <laughs> All these wardrobes are unlocked and empty. Sherlock. Hey look, a couple looks like they've been forced open. You think other people were in here? Well, duh. It's a note. Hmm. It looks like it's for deciphering some sort of code. Hey, can you stop looking at me? Stop it! Please! You're making me feel insecure. Damn social anxiety. Looks like a four digit code is required to unlock this door. Those arrows up there might have something to do with the code. I should be able to figure out what the code is after reading that note. If the notes correspond to the gravity on the wall, the code should be 9519. No? No? I thought for sure I had it. I don't know. I hate Matt. Not the guy Matt, the book Matt. The guy Matt, I came out of the closet fun. My mom said quitters can't be winners. So I'm back and we're gonna go straight to level 2. This room feels more comfortable than back there. Yeah, all that coming out of the closet thing was pretty intense. But it still has a cold feeling to it. We still don't know where we are though. Right, most likely we'll have to put in some extra effort to get out of here. She copied that line from an old constipated saying. <laughs> let's look around. Okay, let's go. What to do? We can look around the room. That wall down the back looks interesting. Maybe we should have a look at it. Yeah, it does look a bit out of place. It's probably important for getting out of this room. 
Well, that's a slutty bug. Oh hey, I found a piece. This one has V written on it. A button! Time to press! Exactly my thoughts! Don't do it while standing in front of it. Okay. Why? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's probably dangerous. Hmm. Fair enough. I'm out of the way. Let's see what this button does. Absolutely nothing. Wow, all these things on the wall might have something to do with that button. Yeah, they do look familiar. Better examine them closely. What's in here? Oh hey, I found a piece. This one has BR written on it. Captain obvious saves the day, once again. A piece to a puzzle? This thing isn't misplaced. The person behind all this wanted us for some way to pick it up. It's got, um, burr written on it. Burr? I'm pretty sure it's okay enough of this pointless conversation. Oh hey, I found a piece. You didn't find it, it's right there. On the fucking shelf. Looks like a safe. I can't make any sense from the screen. Oh Jin, you imbecile. If you can't make sense of it, then it's called modern art. Oh I know this, it's a square game. Square game? Leave it to me, I can solve this one. Alright, I'll go ahead and look around. I'm looking around. Uh... This is the next door we're going to have to open. That room is pretty small. I think I'll stay out of there. What are you kidding? My whole apartment is smaller than that. Not really, but that room is not small. Okay, but I do want to get out. Eh, what should I do? I'm not exactly a fan of compact area either. Oh, you just say that. How do I get this door open? I should keep my eyes open for clues. Good, I'm now going to blink again then. Oh hey, I found a piece. This one has TR written on it. I don't know what we do without your expertise. You too, MLG man. Looks like a receiving end for the emitter over the other side of the room. There's a cable coming out of it. I wonder what it's for. We all wonder what it's for, Jin. Then we hit puberty. And Dios mios, we realize our whole life was a lie. Hmm, what's this? Some sort of compartment? It's sat tight. There should be a way to get it open. Maybe a few tequilas? The door is an opening. It doesn't look like we can get it back open. No backtracking for us then. Or maybe we could try a few tequilas? It looks like I have to mount all the right pieces on all these pegs. This piece is stuck on the wall. Not much I can do with it. Well, if you're brave enough... I got a few suggestions. It looks like I have to mount all the right pieces on all these pegs. Yeah, but how do I do that? There's a receiver like end on the ceiling. If I leave the laser there, something might happen. But where the fuck is the laser? Help me. I'm not done yet. Come back later. I have to concentrate. I'm searching all around here and you're just staring at modern art. Yeah, you're being very productive. I finally figured out how to mount all the right pieces on all these pegs. Nope, it's not fitting. I can imagine I'm cracking that overused phrase right now. Oh! Ha! Nope, it's not fitting. This is impossible. Yes! Got them all. It's really not fitting. What do you want me to do? Help! Fuck you! What to do? That wall down the back looks interesting. Maybe we should have a look at it? I've looked around everywhere, randomly clicked on all the walls, still haven't found that interesting looking wall down the back. Secret and find the exit. See went crazy too. I tried climbing the walls, but there was no jump button. I'm sorry Wei, I failed you. Sounds like something's happening. Oh. My. Could it be? Yes! Oh cool, another BR piece. Phew phew. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, the last one isn't fitting. <sighs> New options. How's it going? I've almost got it. I did it. You did good. So what do we have here? Ah, another BR piece. You mean Burr, right? No, I meant BR. You disappoint me. Let us stay in school. Everything's set. Nothing's happening. Maybe I have to press that button again. Look, the door opened. You don't say. Come on, let's go. Finally. Hey, I thought you don't like compact spaces. Go back to your own country. What's this screen for? Welcome. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah, what is love? Oh look, the screen is talking to us. That Nicolas Cage meme should just plain be awarded to you already. I will grant you... Oh wait, electronic. 
I will grant you one answer. One isn't really enough. What should I ask? What is love? Duh. Let's see. Where are we? Why did you take us? I'm going to wreck ya. Well, the last one isn't really a question, so it's invalid. The first one, I already know. We are in a compact space. And Sunny isn't going back to one country. Stupid Sunny. So I'll ask you the second one. Why did you take us? Liam Neeson is going to break in here at any second. Why did you take us? I didn't ask for this. But, but you just did. Just now. The, why you, why you messing with my mind, man? Don't ask question first. And then say you didn't ask for it. You both are being tested. You each have different criteria. I'm certain that one of you will pass as expected. It has to be me. What? What is it? See, she doesn't even know what's going on here. Even though she's been standing two feet away from us this whole time. That voice is totally talking about me. Hey, he agrees with me. That is all I will tell you for now. Please head to the door. Okay. Hey, we're not done. Yes, we are. I don't think she's going to answer any more questions. Yeah. Her IQ is 50 points lower and she still gets it. Let's keep going. No other choice, huh? Yeah, you figured that out. Up we go. But what if the elevator is actually going down? And that's the end of Meteor Facade. The developers only prepared two levels till now. And I couldn't get past the first level because my IQ must be 0.03 or something. Just like the version of this game. Ah, I got that wrong too.